Have you ever questioned the validity of Einstein's theory of relativity? This groundbreaking theory has been a bedrock of modern physics, reshaping our understanding of time, space and gravity. Yet like any scientific theory, it isn't exempt from scrutiny. It's been challenged, probed and picked apart in the quest for a more complete understanding of our universe. So let's delve into this intriguing world of physics. What if some aspects of this theory are not as solid as we've been led to believe? Before we delve into the criticisms, let's lay the foundation by understanding the theory of relativity in its simplest form. Picture the universe as a vast fabric. This isn't just any fabric, but a four-dimensional one known as space-time, a concept that combines the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time. Now imagine placing a heavy object on this fabric. The object would cause the fabric to bend or curve around it. This is the essence of general relativity. Einstein proposed that what we perceive as gravity is actually the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. The greater the mass of an object, the more it distorts space-time, creating what we experience as a gravitational pull. But there's another part of the theory called special relativity which deals with the speed of light. Einstein postulated that the speed of light is the same for all observers, regardless of their motion or the motion of the source of light. This leads to some mind-bending conclusions like time dilation and length contraction. Simply put, as an object approaches the speed of light, time appears to slow down and lengths appear to contract from the perspective of a stationary observer. Now, why does this matter? Well, these theories have been instrumental in shaping our understanding of the universe. They've allowed us to predict the existence of black holes, gravitational waves, and even the expansion of the universe itself. But it's important to remember that these are just models, and like all models, they have their limitations. They are our best attempt to describe how the universe works, but they don't give us the full picture. And that's where the criticisms come in. Uh, now that we have a basic understanding of the theory, we can start looking into its criticisms. Despite its elegance and extensive validation, general relativity has its limitations. As we delve further into the universe's mysteries, we encounter phenomena that push the bounds of this theory, particularly in the most extreme cosmic environments. Let's consider black holes, for instance. They are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. According to general relativity, at the very center of a black hole lies a singularity, a point where the curvature of space-time becomes infinite. But our current understanding of physics breaks down in the face of such infinities. We simply don't have a theory that can reconcile the curvatures of space-time with the quantum effects that must also be at play in these extreme environments. Similarly, the universe's expansion is accelerating, a fact that took scientists by surprise when it was discovered in the late 20th century. To account for this acceleration, they propose the existence of a mysterious dark energy. But what exactly is dark energy? We don't know yet. It's a placeholder term for something that, that general relativity, as it currently stands, can't explain. Then there's dark matter, another enigma of the cosmos. Astronomers infer its existence from the way galaxies rotate and cluster together, behaviors that can't be accounted for by the visible matter alone. Again, we don't know what dark matter is, only that it's necessary to make the predictions of general relativity match our observations. So we have singularities, dark energy and dark matter, all phenomena that expose the gaps in our current understanding. They stand as challenges to general relativity, pushing us to seek a more complete theory of gravity and the cosmos. Perhaps as we probe these mysteries, we'll find that general relativity is but a stepping stone to a broader, more encompassing theory. These unknown variables pose significant challenges to the validity of general relativity. And yet the quest to understand these challenges fuels the progress of science. After all, it's only by pushing the boundaries of our knowledge that we can hope to expand them. Uh, another major conflict arises when we try to reconcile general relativity with quantum mechanics. This clash of titans, if you will, is one of the most intriguing puzzles in modern physics. Why, you might ask? Let's break it down. Firstly, we need to understand what quantum mechanics is. In simple terms, it's the branch of physics that deals with particles at the atomic and subatomic level. It's a world where things can be in two places at once. 
where particles can teleport through barriers and where observing a particle can change its state. It's a little bit like Alice's Wonderland, just a lot smaller. Now, general relativity and quantum mechanics are both spectacularly successful theories. However, they describe the world in fundamentally different ways. General relativity is a theory of the very large, planets, galaxies, the universe itself. It's all about gravity and the curvature of space-time. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, is a theory of the very small atoms, particles, quarks. It's all about uncertainty and probability. The conflict becomes most apparent when we look at singularities, the heart of black holes and the moment of the Big Bang. Singularities are points where the curvature of space-time becomes infinite. In the language of general relativity, they are places where the universe essentially breaks down. This is where quantum mechanics should come in dealing as it does with the extremely small. However, when we try to apply quantum mechanics to these singularities, we get nonsensical results. This suggests that we need a new theory, a quantum theory of gravity, to reconcile these two perspectives. Yet creating a quantum theory of gravity is no mean feat. It's like trying to merge two entirely different languages, each with its own syntax and grammar. It's a challenge that physicists have been wrestling with for decades, and it remains one of the biggest unsolved problems in theoretical physics. This unresolved conflict underscores the need for a quantum theory of gravity that might deviate from Einstein's principles. And so, the quest for understanding continues, fueled by the tantalizing promise of a more complete theory of the universe. The gaps and conflicts in Einstein's theory have spurred the development of numerous alternative theories. In the quest to better understand our universe, Scientists have proposed multiple theories that deviate from general relativity. One such theory, string theory, suggests that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not particles but strings vibrating at different frequencies. Another, loop quantum gravity, posits that space and time are quantized, composed of tiny discrete loops. There's also the theory of quantum gravity, which seeks to reconcile the principles of quantum mechanics with those of general relativity. And let's not forget about modified Newtonian dynamics, or MOND, which proposes alterations to Newton's laws of motion to explain the behavior of galaxies without invoking dark matter. These theories are intriguing and have their merits, but they remain, for now, largely in the realm of the theoretical. That's where new observational tools come into play. Advanced telescopes, gravitational wave detectors and particle accelerators are providing fresh data that scientists can use to test these theories. For instance, the recent detection of gravitational waves has opened a new window into the universe, offering a unique way to test the predictions of general relativity and its alternatives. Similarly, observations of black holes and neutron stars can provide insights into the behavior of gravity in extreme conditions. These alternatives, while not yet validated, keep the scientific community on its toes, constantly testing against Einstein's principles. Despite the challenges to his theory, Einstein's legacy remains robust. His theory of relativity, both in its special and general forms, has recently endured some of its most rigorous tests yet. It stood strong, proving to be an enduring framework for understanding the fundamental forces shaping our universe. Yet, the scientific community is not content to rest on these laurels.